Hello and welcome back to the channel and today you join me for this week's Forzathon guide called Game Changing which wants you to own and drive the 2009 Ferrari 458 Italia to complete all of the challenges with. So without further ado let's go and get stuck into this and take a look at the car we'll be using. Now you can purchase this Ferrari from the auction house or the auto show or win it from a wheel spin but just make sure you use the right one as there is a couple of variants of it so you want the 2009 458. Now I've also created a tune for you guys to use so the share code is 12590793 it's called Forzathon and that should help you complete these challenges. Now the first challenge here just wants you to maintain a speed of over 200 miles an hour for 10 seconds which is really easy to do. Now to do this I recommend going over to the motorway or the highway and just sitting there above 200 miles an hour. There's some nice long straights and it's more than easily doable. Even if you've got the stock car as well that will hit I think 220 miles an hour as a top speed in the game. Uh, but with the tune it makes it a bit easier. So all you have to do is keep going above 200 mile an hour until the challenge pops up saying that it's been completed. Now the next one here wants you to earn 6 stars from speed zones in 5 minutes. Now what I will say is just ignore the timer on this because it doesn't really add any degree of difficulty. You just want to pick a short speed zone with a low 3 star limit. So I headed over to the festival speed zone as 3 stars on here is 110 mile an hour and 2 stars is 85 mile an hour. But the good thing about this one is it is very short to complete. So you can get a few runs in even if you only get 2 stars on each run you just need to do three runs then but that will take you about a minute minute and a half max so 85 mile an hour for two stars still like i said that the, the overall five minute timer doesn't make a difference it doesn't actually matter for any of this so really simple even if you don't get three stars on each run you only get two stars on each run it will still only take you a minute or a minute and a half tops to complete but nice and easy one even if your car is bone stock and i think one star on here is 45 mile an hour so six runs again will only take you about three or four minutes if you're sort of doing it a bit slower now the final challenge here just wants you to win two road circuit events which is nice and easy so i recommend heading over to the arch of muliege circuit now here as before i have created a blueprint for you guys to use it's called forzathon easy and the share code is 11013168804 now this is one lap with no ai driver tars so all you'll have to do is complete this race twice now as with with last week's challenge of the completing the circuit races and previous ones all you need to do is actually just one lap uh, of a circuit race to complete the falls of the challenges now if for whatever reason your game is slightly bugged and one lap doesn't count towards the overall sort of Forzathon challenge what I'd recommend doing is just going into the blueprint editor and changing it to two laps with no AI driver tars and trying it then and that should solve the issue but like I said it's sort of it's a bit bugged but for me one lap has always seemed to work and for lots of others it has as well but on the rare occasion that it might be bugged and it will want you to do two laps instead of one lap for instance and then just head into the blueprint editor like i said turn the ai driver tiles off as that doesn't affect it and it just makes life a bit easier as well and the good thing because it's a forzathon challenge you don't have to have it set to any specific difficulty you can have it on easy although with no ai it doesn't really make a blind bit of difference anyway to be fair but a nice easy final challenge to finish on there just before christmas anyway folks i hope this video did help you out if you are struggling with any of the challenges, just let me know down below in the comments. And of course, I will try my very best to help you out. But apart from that, I want to wish you all the best. I hope you all have a very Merry Christmas and stay safe. And if it did help, I would very much appreciate if you could subscribe for more videos just like this with the channel. Anyway, I want to wish you all the best. Stay safe and take care.